Lab number six. All right. So lab number six, we did uh, sales commissions, how to calculate sales commissions. So I am going to go ahead and share my screen again. And uh, for the, the same thing, Windows form app, you can see that I named the form sales commissions here. Uh, let's see. Here. Where's my, I'm just trying to show my properties again. Sometimes it doesn't, doesn't like to show. So what I had was last name, first name, sales. These three are labels. These three here are text boxes. This is a button here for calculating commission. So basically for this text box, I would type in the last name. And then for this text box, I would type in the first name. And then for this text box, I would type in the sales. So whatever the sales is, 9,000, 10,000, 15,000. And then we're calculating 10% of that sales as commission. So it would be down here and then it will give you the total of what it is. And remember the clear and exit button and both of them do have the amper, uh, amper which is the and sign. Okay. Uh, let me, uh, I guess see if we have a tab sequence on here, not tab order. We do have a tab order on this. So you can see how this starts at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, no label down here, no message box whatsoever, okay? And so I'm gonna click escape and we're gonna dive into the calculate commissions here. Because obviously that's the most important thing, right? Because you wanna know what, what the coding is, what the actual coding is, right? So we have a double try parse here and what it, try, um, what it does is that it converts a string to a number. That's what we're doing. So that's one thing, I, that's one definition that I learned. So that's what a try parse does, right? It converts a string to a number. And uh, so, oh, hang on one sec. All right, so I'm back. Sorry about that, my, my daughter was going nuts upstairs. But anyways, um, go back to sharing the screen here. All right, so this is basically the clear, clear contents on the clear button. And then this is my exit button, application exit. Self-explanatory, simple, same, same coding. But this is very important when we go to the calculation. So we set up the input validation if double dot try parse, right? So our text sales commissions dot text. And then we are converted into DBL sales commission. So we're converting this text into a number, okay? Into this. So, so what we're converting is this text sales commission because the text that we're typing is a numeric value. We're typing in numbers. We're not typing in letters. If you type in a letter, it's going to throw an error. So figure out the sales commission. So if the DBL sales commissions, which is this text box, your text sales here, uh, is greater than or equal to zero, okay? Display the first and last name for the commission. LBO commissions dot text equals, okay, you got your, uh, man, this is the one thing I can't remember. Uh, you know, you got your quotation marks. You got your quotation marks on commissions for plus the text to two text boxes, right? Your text first name and your text last name. So that's what I named. This is what I named text last name. You can see right here, text last name. And here, text first name, text, per, text first name. Okay, so you're doing... So you're, so you're turning your, your label commissions, this, no, not this one. Yep, yeah, got it. So you're turning this label, so LBL commissions, which is, which is this, which is the first label under the calc button, calculate commission button, okay? This is gonna equal commission four, it's gonna say commission four, first and last name 
of the tech, the two text boxes for your first and last name. So it's going to say commission for uh, Cooley, that's me. It's going to say commission for, you know, John Doe or, you know, commission for Mike Lee or, you know, wh whoever it is, right? So that's what you're converting that label into. That label is going to say commission for first name, last name, okay? And then calculate sales commissions by 10%. Double DBO commission. Okay, remember that DBO commission equals DBO sales commission, which is this one right here, right? Remember this. We're converting. We converted this. Okay, DBO sales commissions times 0 0.10. So we are we are multiplying what 10% of whatever the sales is, whatever the commissions is, because that's what the sales person is getting. Then LBO sales dot text equals the sales is this last label not the first label because the first label is the is the commissions right and then this one is their sales okay so their sales equals dbo commissions to uh, dot two string and the parentheses quotation marks with the c to put it as a numeric uh value as a currency c is for currency remember that so uh, let's see what else. If there is no name type, if text first name equals equals, and then and and text last name dot text equals equals uh, with the quotation marks, that's a Boolean. Boolean, Boolean means uh, a true, true, false, false, or or uh, I forgot the third one is, but that's what a Boolean is. So this is a Boolean uh, statement, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong. Those that are professional programmers. Okay, like I said, I'm new here. And then and that, after that, you're gonna type in display the word commission, LBO commissions.txt equals commission. Else, so we have if and else. Else, message box. Now we have a message box. If you if something's mistyped, so here's what I'll do. I'll start my app. Okay, let's just say we do, and then let's just say we we put letters in. Re-enter data. Okay. Now what if we did nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine commission for Cooley, and this is my commission. That's 10% of 9999 dollars So my my temp my commission, my total commissions I'm getting is nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars and ninety cents. Clear it, exit. Now we're back to this. And then that's it. So so remember you have to do the double try parse, okay? And you're turning the sales commissions into a double, okay? You're converting a string to a number. That's what that's what uh, try parse is. So you're converting this right here, okay, to the try parse. This is the text box that you're converting, and then, and then after that, then you do the math to calculate your commissions, and then after for that, right after for this label, then this the next label is the sales which is whatever that 10% of the commissions is, because this one is gonna say commissions for Cooley. It's gonna say commissions for first name, last name. And then this will pop up, the, this will generate the number in currency. So that's the most easiest way I can say it. Uh, I don't know how much more simplified I can say it. Like I said, this is a, a sales commissions calculation app. And so, uh, I mean, very, like I said, very self-explanatory. Like I said, these three, you know, these three are labels, and then these three are text boxes, and then you got one, two, three buns, and you got two labels down here. So, I'm gonna go back and go back and show the code here. Like I said, pause. You're like I said, you're gonna you're gonna double click the calculate commissions 
and you're going to input all this code here all this code here okay and then this is all for your clear button and then this is for your exit button and then that's it so i hope what i said makes sense if it doesn't make sense like i said pause it rewatch it and like I said, I'm just showing you guys the answers. I mean, I mean, there's like I said, there are times that that I wish I could, you know, I wish I could get answers like this. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm trying to get answers to cheat or anything. It's just that sometimes you, sometimes you you get stuck and you can't get, you can't, you you know, you're stuck because you're on a timeline. You gotta get this done. Everyone has a busy schedule. And if your instructor doesn't get back to you, guess what? You're kind of stuck on this. And then you can only turn in what you know, right? And especially, like I said, I'll be honest, I'm new to coding. So I'm not, a, I'm not, it's some, it gets so overwhelming on top of what I do. And, and then I don't know what else to do. Then I just leave it the way it is. And then I'll come back to it when, whenever, whenever I, you know, whenever I feel like, you know, it's, it's good for me to come back. Because you, because, you know, to learn coding is really, you have to step it up to learn coding. You know, you can't just, you can't just fake it and you can't, you can't just, you know, act like you know coding because coding is a totally different subject, different world. And you have to understand the proper, uh, you have to understand the proper sequence behind it, the proper coding. And if you get the wrong code, you just get syntax errors. So it's not a good idea. And you don't want to be running around trying to figure out you know what the code is so like i said pause it look at this type this all out and test it out for yourself you know and if you can somehow make it better let me know because I'm, I'm always willing to improve myself on this so appreciate you guys watching this